There is an eighth continent on Earth that you probably have never heard of. Yes, you heard it right. We're not talking about a futuristic alien world, but a submerged landmass right here on our own planet, nestled in the South Pacific. It's called Zealandia, and it's about half the size of Australia. Just imagine a landmass, mostly hidden beneath the ocean, yet vast enough to challenge our traditional understanding of continents. But of course, there's more to being a continent than just size. In fact, there are specific criteria that a landmass must meet to earn the title, such as having clearly defined boundaries, enough elevation to stand out from the ocean floor, and a thick crust. For years, the status of Zelandia has been at the center of a heated debate among scientists. Some argue that Zelandia lacks the elevation to be considered a true continent. Others contend that its size and clearly defined boundaries make it a strong contender. And then, in 2017, a group of geologists threw a proverbial stone in the water. They declared Zelandia a continent, based not only on its size and boundaries, but also on its crust, thickness and elevation. This bold declaration sparked even more debate, but it also opened the door to a fascinating new perspective on our planet's geography. So, we find ourselves facing an almost submerged landmass, Zealandia, that carries the potential of being recognized as the eighth continent. Intriguing, isn't it? It's a mystery that challenges us to rethink what we know about our planet and invites us to explore the unknown depths of our own world. Now you might be wondering, how did we stumble upon Zealandia? Well, the story of Zealandia's discovery is as intriguing as the continent itself. Zealandia, a submerged landmass in the South Pacific, is about half the size of Australia. It's an enigma, a hidden gem that has been lurking beneath the ocean surface for millions of years. But what makes up Zealandia? Interestingly, it consists of New Zealand and other submerged fragments of crust that detach from the ancient supercontinent known as Gondwana. Now, imagine trying to study a continent that's mostly underwater. Sounds challenging, right? It certainly was. Most of Zealandia is submerged under the ocean, which made it quite a task for scientists to study and understand this hidden continent. The vastness of the ocean, the depth, the water pressure, and the lack of visibility all posed significant hurdles. But did these challenges stop our curious scientists? Absolutely not. Researchers had to think outside the box, devising innovative methods to study this submerged continent. They analyzed granite samples from Zealandia to piece together its age and geologic history. This was no simple task. Imagine trying to analyze a puzzle where most of the pieces are hidden underwater. But the effort didn't stop there. To further support the argument of Zealandia's classification as a continent, scientists created detailed maps of its coastlines and the ocean floor. These maps provided tangible, visual proof of Zealandia's existence as a continent. So the discovery of Zealandia was no accident. It was the result of dedicated scientific investigation, perseverance, and a lot of hard work. It's a testament to the unrelenting curiosity of the human spirit and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. Despite these challenges, scientists persevered and their dedication led to some groundbreaking revelations about Zealandia. With Zealandia being mostly underwater, studying it was no easy feat. But as the saying goes, where there's a will, there's a way. And scientists certainly had the will to uncover the secrets of this submerged landmass. The primary method of studying Zealandia was through the analysis of granite samples. Granite, a common type of intrusive, felsic, igneous rock, has a granular texture. It's comprised of quartz, mica, and feldspar, among other minerals. These components can tell us a lot about the geological history of the place they come from. So, scientists took these granite samples from Zealandia and got to work. The analysis of these samples was akin to reading an ancient book, each layer of rock a page in the story of Zealandia. By examining these granite samples, scientists were able to determine Zealandia's age and geological history. It was like piecing together a million-piece jigsaw puzzle, with each piece a tiny fragment of information about this submerged landmass. But that's not all. 
In addition to analyzing granite samples, scientists also created detailed maps of Zealandia. These maps covered not just the parts of Zealandia that are above water, like New Zealand, but also the submerged parts. This was an immense task, involving advanced technology and countless hours of work. These maps of Zealandia's coastlines and ocean floor were another key piece of the puzzle. They provided a visual representation of Zealandia, allowing scientists to see its clearly defined boundaries, its size, and its elevation. These are some of the criteria that are used to classify something as a continent. So, through the analysis of granite samples and the creation of detailed maps, scientists were able to gather a wealth of information about Zealandia. This painstaking research not only added to the body of knowledge about Zealandia, but also underscored its potential status as a continent. So, Zealandia is not just a submerged mass of land, but it also holds some secrets about Earth's history. Recent research has unveiled that Zealandia, a submerged land mass in the South Pacific, is older than we initially believed. This intriguing revelation adds weight to the argument that Zealandia should be officially recognized as the eighth continent. You see, Zealandia is not a recent formation. It's made up of New Zealand and other submerged pieces of crust that parted ways with the ancient supercontinent Gondwana. The age of Zealandia was determined by analyzing granite samples from the submerged landmass a process that revealed its intriguing geological history. This discovery of Zealandia's age doesn't just give us a fascinating peek into the past, it also reshapes our understanding of Earth's geological timeline. It takes us back, way back, to a time when the world map looked very different from what we see today. The age of Zealandia also supports the argument for its classification as a continent. The criteria for this includes clearly defined boundaries, size, elevation, and crust thickness. Zealandia checks all these boxes. But why does this matter? Well, recognizing Zealandia as a continent changes the way we understand the Earth's surface. It adds another chapter to the story of our planet, a chapter that has been hidden under the waves for millions of years. Just think about it. An entire continent older than we thought lurking beneath the ocean surface. Its age and the secrets it holds could answer questions about our planet that we haven't even thought to ask yet. Detailed maps of Zealandia's coastlines and ocean floor have been created, providing further evidence of its continental status. The hope is that Zealandia will be recognized and included on world maps in the future, giving this ancient land mass the recognition it deserves. Zealandia, it turns out, is no spring chicken but a seasoned player in Earth's geological timeline. Now let's delve into the intriguing life forms that call Zealandia home. Zealandia, a largely submerged landmass, is not just a geological marvel, but an ecological one as well. The life forms that inhabit Zealandia are as diverse and unique as the continent itself. Painting a vibrant picture of life beneath the waves and on the scattered islands that dot its surface. The submerged parts of Zealandia are home to a plethora of marine life. From the smallest plankton to the largest whales, the waters around Zealandia are teeming with sea creatures, each contributing to the rich tapestry of life beneath the ocean surface. There are coral reefs that rival those of the Great Barrier Reef in their biodiversity, hosting a myriad of fish, crustaceans, and other marine organisms. On the scattered islands that make up the landmass of Zealandia, the story is no less intriguing. New Zealand, the largest of these islands, is home to a host of unique organisms, many of which are found nowhere else on Earth. From the kiwi, a flightless bird that has become a national symbol, to the ancient tuatara, a reptile that dates back to the time of the dinosaurs, Zealandia's terrestrial life forms are a testament to the continent's long and complex history. These unique organisms not only add to the richness and diversity of life on Zealandia, but they also contribute to the case for Zealandia's classification as a continent. Continents are defined not just by their geology, 
but also by their unique ecosystems and the organisms that inhabit them. Zealandia, with its diverse array of life forms, certainly fits this bill. The study of Zealandia's unique life forms also offers scientists valuable insights into the processes of evolution and speciation. By studying how these organisms have adapted to their unique environments, scientists can gain a better understanding of how life evolves and diversifies over time. In the end, Zealandia is more than just a potential eighth continent. It's a rich, diverse ecosystem teeming with life, a testament to the wonders of our planet.